so yeah there you go um so look this is going to be mute it's gonna go you know it'll be fine in a couple of weeks it'll be fixed but it just shouldn't be released like that i mean it's not a me problem is it it's not a you problem either it's, it's a their problem really 70 dollars no, no. But it's all down to this amazing new model, study level 3D cockpit that allows you to really fly the 737 in your own home.
Good afternoon, a happy, happy Friday to everybody. Uh, it is uh, Friday the 4th of November. Yes, welcome to this uh, live stream from uh, Los Angeles to LAX, which I haven't done before. It'll be an interesting taxi when we get to LAX. Yes, we're flying Virgin America, and you're all very welcome. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, some of you are probably watching the replay. Don't forget. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the like button. Uh, send a comment. And yes, we are. Uh, I was hoping for some bad weather, but I don't know. I don't think so. So, <laughs> welcome to uh, one and all. Uh, let me just get the YouTube chat open here, if I may. Uh, YouTube chat. I know, I have to get that thing where you can actually see the comments from both. There we go. I just don't forget to hit the like there, button. There's a video playing. And we got Clappy D. Greetings, Clappy D. Uh, Rude the Great's with us. What's all this then? It is uh, the Virgin America. Do they fly from San Francisco to LAX? I well, let's have a look around the airport, shall we? Let's reset the camera first, though. Uh, I hit something else. Uh, that made something else happen in things. Uh, let's reset the camera. And this is the fancy... Uh, this is the fancy airport for San Francisco. Fascinating airport. Uh, it's pretty cool. I bought a watch here for a few hundred dollars, and it never worked. So I don't buy anything duty free in San Francisco. <laughs> a diesel watch, it wasn't hundred dollars. So let's see, well, it's obviously Aer Lingus because you go shopping in San Francisco, <coughs> the odd time as well as New York. <laughs> uh, no, we don't. Delta, Air Canada, United. Aer Lingus come from Ireland all the time, it's a direct flight. Uh, Frontier, because we're not allowed obviously to operate within their airspace because Americans aren't Irish apparently. Uh, Southwest. <laughs> I'm Irish. Uh, Aer Lingus United. Uh, Delta. Uh, I don't know who that is. Alaska, of course, that would make sense to come in. We've got a Delta taxi in here. Uh, another Delta. Maybe I should show an American Airlines. I don't see any Virgins. I don't see any Virgins at all. Uh, there's a Virgin. Oh, that's me. <laughs> that's me. Uh, JetBlue. Yeah. Qatar, they've come in from Qatar land. Uh, United, a frontier. Uh, there's got a few here. They're, everyone's got their assigned liveries in this traffic, which is pretty cool. So there's some, some someone taxiing out there. It looks like they're taking off. Uh, it looks like they're all taking off. Let's see what we're given here. Let's see. Uh, the northerly runways. So it looks like the northerly runways are active. I love their taxiways in San Francisco. They're so neat and tidy. Yeah, they are very neat and tidy. Okay, let's reset the cam. Uh, and uh, let's get organized. Let's get that picture there for the AP start. Uh, so uh, let's have a look. Uh, Jonathan uh, Do uh, Dober is here. Uh, I love watching Gopher Sim. Oh, great, Jonathan. I appreciate that. That's great. That's great. I'm delighted. I got a few of those this week. I'm delighted. Uh, you enjoy watching it. And it's entertaining. Uh, hopefully with time, I need the time to study more to be able to do stuff, crazy stuff like engine failures and stuff. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Cold and dark. Cold and dark, folks. So I have already done my flight plan. Uh, boom. So here's our flight plan here. Uh, I'm using Simbrief, simbrief.com. Uh, very easy. Well, you can make it as complicated as you like or as easy as you like. I'm making it very easy. So we've got our routing. We've got a, a standard instant departure. Susie. Looks like. Uh, and Burgle. That's nice. I can actually pronounce those. That makes sense. Uh, Airman 2. 
I'm just making that up with chance like Herman. So there we go. A reasonably straight flight to, uh, to Los Angeles. Uh, it should, should take about an hour or so. Uh, flight level now. Let me put my eyes on this again because I'm learning as well. I'm learning and I have to do that thing where I have to understand that I have to study up this flight plan thing. I know. I know. Uh, where is the flight level? Well, it's going to be 35. No, it's not. It's got a short flight. There's a flight plan there. Okay. There's our standard instant departure and a standard terminal arrival. Uh, I just want to put my head, hand on. Flight level 39. Flight plan route level 39,000 feet. I don't think. I don't. S really? That's the coffin corner. That's the, that's the absolute limit of the Airbus. So I don't know if that's right. You know, uh, I've been going about 32,000 feet or something. We'll try it. We'll go 35. We, we go the optimal. How about that? Because we don't want to be too high. So there's our flight routing. So let's do that and stuff. Okay, so let's get the checklist done. Uh, okay, so park and brake. I've done all, pretty much all of this, you know. Uh, park and brake is set. I'll get this out of the way. Park and brake is set. Wipers are set to off. It is its default. Anyway, there's our wipers. Uh, spoilers are retracted. Yes, the spoilers are retracted. So that would be arming them. Uh, engine masters are both normal. Yes, and they're off. Thrust lever levers are idle, yes they are. Flaps are retracted, yes they is. Uh, Anti-skid is on and it is by default. And landing gear is checked down, yes it is. A fuel quantity, we've got an extra ton on board for this flight, including our alternate uh, and holding and all that kind of stuff and contingencies. Okay, um, let's kick it off then. Uh, what is that? Engine masses one two on. Oh, battery masses, I'm going blind. <laughs> Battery's on. A little bit of a click, but then we get the external power, which is available. Big clunk. Yes, that teases me. I'm going to turn the volume here on my headset. Uh, let's just see if I can... No, that's the balance. There we go. That's a bit better. It'll let me raise my voice anyway. Strobe lights to auto. Boom. ADRS. Okay, let's align the ADRS. It does take a, a bit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch them on or off again so they'll instantly align on the Phoenix. Let's get all the lights up here, folks, because I can't see a thing. Uh, one day I'll have to figure out the default to have it start with all the lights on because it takes an awful lot of time. Maybe when I'm doing this, I can say hello to the chat there, right? Whilst I'm turning all, all of the lights. We've got Lovely Reaper with us. We've got Lovely Reaper with us on the chat. Uh, usually on Fridays, most people are out having a pint after work. They ain't going to be racing home in, in this part of the world. Uh, they ain't going to be racing home. You know, they're going to have, you know, or they may go home, but they're, they're going to hop in the shower, get ready, go out, uh, and get lamped after their stressful day of work. Do you know? Uh, or maybe not. Maybe they want to come home early and go swimming. Simming. Not swimming. Simming. Simming, you know. But they won't, you know. It's tough to get the time, folks. Uh, it is tough to get the time. Now all the lights are on, uh, except for the top ones at the top. See how long this takes? God, it's a book in itself, folks. Dome lights on. There we go. All the lights are on. Engine APU master fire tests. Okay, we know that's the simulator. It's not going to fail on us. Uh, instruments display brightness have just done that. Safety belt signs are our own. Uh, boom, so we're loading up the passengers there. Uh, no psych smoking sign. That's uh, on. Emergency lights, boom, armed for all the folks down the back. Annunciator lights test. Uh, you yeah, know, you can do all this cockpit preparation stuff. See, it's testing them there now. Uh, th no, that was the dome note. It's a bit fiddly, isn't it, with the mouse? Okay, let's get our flight plan in. Flight plan in. Straight away, into a dish. Uh, let's request our flight plan, which I've uh, uploaded in Simbrief. Uh, looking over for any chats there. Yeah, there won't be a lot of people on today. Rune the Great's with us. Uh, Vudenget says, I would just like to point out that those square watermelons are in Delible. Oh yeah, we had, that was part of our, uh, YouTubers, that was part of our, uh, description in last weekend's flight. Do you know? Uh, cost index, I'm going to go five, and this time I'm going to remind myself, don't play with the cost index, I'll, I'll change the speed manually. Cruise, let's have a good prog here, uh, you know, thir yeah, 39,000 feet. Okay, 39,000 feet it is. It says 39,800, but I'm going to go 39. 39, 0. 
5.11390. That temperature looks about right. Happy days. Uh, Friday enough. Okay, that's going to have it all automatically puts in our frequency. So in case we need to come back to San Francisco very quickly. And in page two, uh, we need to get. Well, let's load up, right? And to load up, uh, we're going to go. Uh, as you know, most of you. Now, if some of you have just joined and you want me to tell you what's happening, like what are you doing? Let me know in the chat because you see me glancing over here all the time. Uh, you see, just looking. To, okay, so let's load the aircraft. Oh, hang on, I have to go to my flight here. Sorry. Let's get the mic a little bit closer. Tap to import. It also to imports imports the weather from Simbrief. Unit mismatch analysis. Oh, that could be a fright. Please ensure the fuel is. Oh, yeah, we're in America. We're in America. A few units are different. I'm gonna go to kilograms. Can I go to kilograms? Come on, you can do it. Okay. Uh, it obviously defaulted to pounds there, and Americans use pounds too. Uh, Britain the Greatest is talking there. I've been married to Japanese. Oh, I've been married to a Japanese family for 30 years. And they are notorious uh, rich. Grifters. So they like to gift things you can't re gift. Or e.g. re gift. And so re gifters. Okay, so, and you also says food is popular. But why not spend a hundred bucks on a watermelon you can't eat? It's the thought that counts. Oh, I see. So in Japan, folks, you can get square watermelons, but you can't eat them. They're kind of like a gift. I don't know what's going on there, Ridden the Great. Japan is a mystery to me. I haven't been there yet. I'd like to go. Uh, Digital in flight is also with us. Um, uh, and happy days. Okay, so we got that bit done. Uh, let's get the let's get the uh, weather here in San Francisco. Let's get our aircraft loaded. Come on. I'm going to make this instant. Uh, load aircraft. Oh, only 95 passengers. LA is not particularly popular popular this these days. Do you know? Uh, is that it? Oh, hang on. That's Oh, loading aircraft. Did I hit the inst... Reset all. Load aircraft. I want to load it immediately. Reset all. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't do this to me now. It's the weekend. Load aircraft. Reset all. Oh man, what are you doing to me? It's okay, I know what's happened here. I gotta load the flight again. Import from Simbrief one more time. Reset all means after obviously reload it here, you see. Uh, and then go back to mass and balance, obviously. Now there we go. 95, load aircraft, instant please. Boom. Because otherwise we'll be waiting. 95 passengers. Uh our zero fuel is 53.7, I gotta put 54.0. Uh, 54.0, 54.0, and 54.0, well, I actually should be 53.8, shouldn't it? 53.8, oh, this is going to be a difficult flight. 53.8 slash, what was it, 29.0 or something for the CFG? 29.1 for the CFG. 29.1. Boom. Block fuel. Uh, I'm taking that from the flight plan. Takes a bit. Takes a little bit. Lonely Reaper had a crash test stop. You're not having luck there, mate. Uh, Confirm block. 3.6 tons. Okay, good. Uh, and it page one and it page two. I'd like to go to as well, uh, which you've done. Okay, and performance. Now we need to get our V speeds. And our trims and all that kind of stuff. So, we come out of here. We're going to departure flight. I'm going to just keep going until we get the EP started. Then I'll read the comments because otherwise it'll be take forever, you know. I know we're not taking off that room. We're taking off. Oh, we're taking off a zero one. Yes, yes. The surface is dry. Flat and fake. We want one flap. One flap. Uh, first, one negative because it's massive. 
uh, boom, 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 load that, load the weather, and that's going to calculate all of our V speeds and our trims and whatnot and reflects the temp speed, temperature. 126135. 126, 135, and 135. Boom. 126 and 135. 126 and 135. V1, V1, and rotate. Uh, we want uh, rudder up or two, or sorry, flaps one up two. So flaps one up 0.2. Boom. Flex the temp, I think I saw it was 68 degrees. 68. Flex the temp is just giving the temperature for the engine. So you, you don't use full power. So it uses the most efficient power for noise abatement uh, and efficiency. It's all noise abatement. Uh, I have a story now if I remember to tell you about that. Uh, remind me in the chat there. You know. Uh, hit the like button, please. Thank you, Clappy D, for telling you and reminding everybody. Not telling, but reminding folks. Hit the like button there. Pop it on. Pop it on. A little like button. Uh, predicted wind shear is own. No, that's the weather radar. Go for sim. There we go. Predicted wind shear. Uh, a cock door, of course. Oh, now. Look. Lock. There we go. So it's locked now and it open. It's not really locked. I suppose you can open it from the inside. But uh, there you go. You lock the door that way. It's a bit... There we go. Okay. What's that button there for? Video. Oh. Oh, very well. That's the video there, I take it. Interesting. So you can see who's outside. You know, in case the stewardess is going, Captain, we could you open the door? I, I have a problem. And there's some guy there with a... Something. Okay, barometric reference. QH. Q oh, it's, it's American. Excuse me, my accent. Uh, 30.38. Oh. 30.38. I'm going to have difficulty with this now. 30.38. Jeez. 30.38. Wind, 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 wind. This is going to be tricky now. See how long that took? That takes. 30.38. Oh, man. 30.38 once, 30.38 twice, 30.38 thrice. Wind, 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 wind. Come on, come on, let's go. No! I don't want standard. <laughs> wind, 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 wind. Uh, it is more accurate, apparently, I think. There we go, that's 38 once, twice, twice. Okay, great. Uh, and confirm that. 33.8, great. Uh, let me know if I get anything wrong there. I'm pretty sure I did not, uh, and all that's done. Okay, great. For your uh, ADF, we're not using FCDU altitude. The transition altitude in America is 18,000 feet. It seems to be like that everywhere, but let's check it. Right? Uh, that's when you change from standard, uh, from, from the local Q&H to standard, right? Another subject in itself. But uh, let's get on our friend here, Navograph. Let's get our friend Navograph here. And we are in uh, Kilo Sierra Fox Oscar. San Francisco. Depart. Is that a departure? Oh, yes, take. I'm we'll just get an approach one here for the, for the just one transition. 18,000 feet. Okay. And let's have a look at our departure here. Oh, we'll have a look at that now in a second. Uh, 18,000 feet. And I got 18,000 feet in there, actually. Just have a look at our departure here. Uh, just for shits and giggles here. Seeing as I'm learning. Right, we're going to have moments like this where I'm going, oh, hmm, what's happening? Uh, I'd be like, oh, confusion. Uh, the look of uncertainty will appear upon my face. Uh, but don't. <laughs> SST tick five. SST tick five. None of them look like SST tick five to me. Absolutely not one of them. Not a one. So, Susie, maybe? Oh. That's the SS. So, how do you match that up with the flight plan? You see here, what I'm looking at here is look. Standard instrument departure SSTIK5, right? 
Um, and I don't know what to look at, to be honest with you. Okay, let's put it into the computer anyway. Um, someone will come on and tell me. Uh, Janet Debs, hello, how are you, Janet Debs? Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to the madness. We're figuring, ahead to, figuring out how to fly the Airbus, but it's not that hard. Once you know what's happening, but I kind of do. Right, okay, so we've got our latitude. Uh, headings managed, speed's going to be managed, uh, and all that kind of stuff and things. Happy days. Iris is aligned. Very nice. Uh, flight directors are both on, one, on to two. Uh, that's all good. Uh, eight, let's get the APU on now. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Boom. Uh, crew oxygen supply, we need that for breathing purposes. Uh, it's not modeled for the passengers. In fact, if we didn't turn that on at all, we, the flight would be fine. They haven't modeled the grey out yet. And the fainting part of not having uh, oxygen aboard your aircraft. Fuel pumps, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, air conditioning. Let's keep the passengers cold. Uh, let's keep the cold and hungry. Uh, navigation lights on. At the tail. Now, once APU bleed on, um, APU now is when it disappears and doing... Oh, it hasn't started up yet. It's taking a while. I did say I'd look at the comments. Oh, God, God, that's noisy. Whoa, it's busy. I can hear all the other aircraft. Airport, no airport noises. So that's starting up. God. Let's see, this is live, live time, live weather. So, there's lots of aircraft taking off, departing, arriving. Look, it's getting busy now. Uh, in San Francisco, it's about eight hours behind. Hey Siri, what time is it in San Francisco? It's real world traffic. Hey Siri, what time is it in San Francisco? It's like eight at nine thirty, maybe ten o'clock almost. Oh. Ten twenty-six in San Francisco. Happy days. So it's it's busy uh, now. Right, it's quite busy. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the APU is now started. We're pretty sure about that. There it goes, disappeared from the panel there. Let's get the APU bleed on to start the engines. APU bleed is here. And external power, uh, get rid of him. Thank you. Uh, beacon light on. Let's backtrack now and get out of here, shall we? Uh, beacon light on. Now I've got to figure out what runway we're going uh, under, right? How, how we're going to get out of here. So let's, let's have a look at the charts okay taxi charts now I know they have oh hang on hang on hang on hang on uh, I may not need to do that anymore because why did I do this at the very beginning if you have an Avograph account there it is it's all here I don't have to reopen that window folks nobody said that to me no one corrected me uh, departure uh, can I use my keyboard? Kilo? No. No. Can I? Use the keyboard? No. Uh, Kilo S F O. Enter. Yeah, give me some information, please. Oh, right. Loading map. Okay, I haven't tried this before. Uh, destination. Let's put the other destination in here. Uh, K L A X. Oh, don't don't use that. K L. Come on. L A X. No, 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 no. K L A X. What the deuce? K L A oh, it's just a bit slow. I'm typing I'm going too fast for X again. Okay, so it's a bit slow as all. Um oh import right from Simbrief. Sync right from Simbrief. Okay. Okay, fine. I'd like to see the little things go, the little map, you know, of what's happening and things. I'd li this is fascinating. I haven't tried this before, believe it or not, folks. Uh, there's Los Angeles there. So, um, let's see through it again. Mm, it seems to be okay. Uh, why do I have to add an alternate? Oh, there's an alternate there. Open it. 
Uh, okay, but I want to look at some maps now. Uh, hit in Portal. The Portal, greetings, welcome. Easy, he says. Uh, Uldi Ulel. I just got the games. Uh, Uldi I L E on YouTube. Uldi. Ulit. U T I L E. Util? Util. I'll try Util. Correct me if I'm wrong, Util, on YouTube. Uh, so now I want to look at the uh, departure actual the plates, right? Will it show me the plates? Ground charts oh great. Look at this. Why didn't I do this before, folks? There we are, look. Why didn't I do and I me play playing with windows and stuff, going like this. Oh yeah, I am got my flight plan out here. I don't need to do that. I'm so foolish and unwise. What can one do? Okay, so we're taking off zero one. Uh zero one left. So we got a long taxi. We have got a long taxi. Uh, why did my airplane just oh, didn't. So we got a taxi all the way down here. So go down here, take a left. Uh, for shits and giggles, I'm going to get flight sim to give me taxi instructions. So I'm going to follow up and see what it gives us. Okay. Now this is going to be hilarious, right? Because this is a mystery to me. They're going to give you taxi clearance, and it's going to be a very long clearance. Okay. I'm not going to write it down. Because it's nuts. Uh, I would... I don't know. It's crazy. You'll see what I mean. It's going to be hilarious. And it's a big mystery to me how these pilots find their way around these airports. Flying from A to B is easy. But navigating around these airports, it's bizarre. How, what? It's just insane. Uh, okay, so this is great. So, uh, let us... Let us taxi. Let's get out of here. I've got it into map now. That will help me kind of find my way around, I'm hoping. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit more. We kind of know where we're going. That looks very good. Okay, so we're going to go to the uh, the east, uh, south, and then and down to the to the north. So uh, good. Okay, so push back. Now, unfortunately, to get rid of the screen to get the push back thing going, uh, but I can get it back as well. So let's get the ground services. Uh, would you please disconnect the checks, the shocks, close the doors. No, get away checking out. Close the doors. Get rid of the ground power unit. Call the, uh, the truck to get out of here. Let's have a quick go around to see where we are. Let's reset the cam here. There we are. Uh, there is uh, some people now. You can follow us if you want to the North European server. We're always on the North European server. You can fly along with us. Uh, we do. There's Lonely Reaper. So he's going to fly along with us. Please find the F-A-18-E, I don't have that for some reason. And I know there's some others, but sometimes the tags don't come up. Oh, there we go. There's a Shady Sim with us as well. Uh, and Cloudy 1972 is a bell. So we might have some new people with us, folks, you know. So there we go. So I'm gonna back up there, Lonely Reaper. Uh, there should be room enough. I'll just back into you. You know, I'll just back right into him. Uh, and smash into him. Uh, so start, park, break off. Parker brakes off and let's go back. Start. Uh, let's begin the starting process. Engine uh, start, engine number two. Uh, get that winding up. Uh, there's N2 spinning up. Very nice. Uh, let's get engine number one on as well. And there is the inner fan there spooling up. Temperature will increase. Have we got oil and all that kind of stuff? There's oil pressure. Pounds per square inch there, not yet. Opening valves and stuff. It'll take a while. I can hear it inside there starting up. Uh, my brakes are off. Why won't he move? I'm resetting my brake here. Okay, I had to reset my brake for some reason. Okay, folks, here, here we go. So we're going to take a right down here. Uh, first of all, we want the tail to be, uh, as we see it here, dead this end. So, these buttons are pointed at the tail, which way the tail want to go, yeah? Uh, and, you know, I would like a managed tug so I don't have to manage it. It doesn't make sense, you know, to be managing the tug yourself. Because they just do it for you. You know, they ask you, you know, which, which way do you want the nose, po the nose pointed? 
how they do it. Uh, and all that kind of stuff and things. So there we go. Let's uh, stop that tug. We'll do the rest of the taxi. Uh, and disable the tug. Great, he's going to head off now, Mr. Tugman. Go on, off you go. You've done your duty for the day. What an easy job. Well, I suppose you can make mistakes. Uh, oh. Yeah. Let's just add in my uh, arrival and all that kind of stuff. Didn't do that yet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I want to use make more make more use of this part here. So we've got the banner prefer. That also gives our sim flight plan. Rather than me messing around with all these windows, I think it might be uh, wise to use it from here. See, it imports it all from Simbrief. It's very good. Uh, don't let this intimidate you. I won't let it intimidate me. Here we go. Flight plan route. Uh, no. No. That's not what I want. Here we go. Uh, SS tick 5. SS tick 5. Departure. Back and back out. And we're going at zero one left, and we are departing on. Oh, we have it there. There it is. Boom. Well, when the plan comes together, oh, the transition. Transition, folks. Susie. Susie. Insert. And our arrival into Los Angeles is going to be into runway 24 right. 24 right. And our star is, as you can see here, uh, is and that 24 right I got from here, look. Uh, Innerman 2. Innerman 2. And our trans Burgle. Burgle. All there. Insert. Let's have a look at that and, and uh, just check that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, ba, 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 I go twenty. I go forty miles out there. And what we're going to do? You go to plan mode here, and we are going to hit the next button. It's in the up arrow here. Boom, 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 and that looks absolutely brilliant. Oh no, 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 it doesn't actually. There's a discontinuity there. Sometimes I think you get the odd bug. I'm told in flight some later. Let's get rid of this flight plan continuity, and hopefully it'll join it up. Hopefully it'll join up the dots. Clear. Boom. Not allowed. Oh great, this is going to be so fantastic. I love when this happens. Uh, okay, so now we have to think about it, and I don't like thinking about stuff. No. I don't. Uh, it's gone rogue. It's gone rogue, folks. What the hell? Give me something. So we're going to run away too far. That is not too far, so I should come back this way. Uh, I am a little bit displeased with this. I'm zoomed out all the way. That is most peculiar in plan mode. Okay, that looks very straight. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. There's something weird going on here. This one goes on forever. So what's the one after then? I'm going to delete the one after uh, Gado. Get rid of him. Oh, get rid of manual. Oh, I didn't put manual in. That's a bug. Clear. Boom. Enter. Now let's have a look. Okay, we're kind of getting somewhere now. We're getting getting somewhere. So we now we want to. Go I thought I deleted him. What the deuce? Clear. Grandu. Insert. 
Okay, great. Now we're going to go from here uh, direct. Now I'll be able to delete that flight plan discontinuity until match these two up. I'm, I'm hoping. Clear. Boom. This. One. Yay. Now let's have a look at the picture. Now we got something sensible. This looks good to me. Uh, see, we've got a nice round. And let's have a look at the distance there. Yeah, we've got a nice round. And that looks like a, almost a 10 mile departure. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yes. So that looks okay to me. That looks good. I'm happy. Of course, as usual, too steep a glide path. So uh, I had this going from Dublin to uh, Birmingham there yesterday. And in the flight plan, for some reason, we were to go at 9,000 feet and then to be at 2,500 feet uh, at a very short distance. So uh, I think it's just the flight plan thing. So it's saying it's going from 4 to 2, two is going to be difficult. But I think I'll take over manually there and we'll see how that works. You know, it's always add, amend, delete, folks, isn't it? Uh, Charmaine uh, has followed. Charmaine, welcome. Welcome to the madness, Charmaine. So we'll worry about this in the way, right? We're going to play with that in the way. Uh, and all good and happy days. Right, so now we've got the both engine starts. Let's change the crank mode there, or so the mode to normal. Both engines are on. That means we don't need the, uh, the APU bleed on anymore. And we don't need the master on for the APU. Uh, APU bleed off, yeah, auto, pilot set, set trim. Uh, and our trim was for, if I go to controls here, by controls. Uh, trims pitch is zero, but what was it set to in it? So these have got something to do with the cruise. Uh, it was... It was in performance, wasn't it? Uh, up two. So let's get my trimmy trim trim and pitch that up to up point two. Not three, but two. And you can see I'm changing it here, see? Manually changing the trim. Up point two, great. And of course you can test all your controls and make sure and they have a system of doing that and all that kind of stuff, so... That's nice. Okay, controls are checked. Uh, an autopilot set, 18,000 feet is in there and everything else is managed, happy days. Okay, transponder, or probe, let's taxi, let's get, oh, burpy burp burp. Taxi lights on. Taxi, this should be one notch up. When we turn off lights on, beacon's already on, strobe's on auto. Uh, wing lights are on and off, uh, and the tail is on, on, all that kind of stuff. Now I'm gonna have a quick look before we taxi. Gonna have a quick queue at the comments to say hello to, to one and all. There we are there, I'm sitting there like an Egypt blocking the taxiways for everybody else. What are you gonna do? Uh, first time chat for Tremaine. Tremaine says hello. Uh, great Tremaine, nice to see you. Iceberg for all is, is here. Hello, back, Gripper Sim. Uh, happy evening, uh, said, uh, says Iceberg. Iceberg, great to have you back again. Uh, great to have you back. Uh, Iceberg, everybody really helps out. He's one of the people that really helped me actually learn to fly the Airbus, he's telling me what to do. He's a, a star. Uh, oh, we got Dudok as well. We got Alex Sig and Silver Carp with us as well. Happy days. So uh, let's have a look at YouTube comments now. Let's see. Uh, Dal1152. Hit import. Easy. Hit KLX. Thank you. We got another person. See, Dal? Like people like you helping us out here. That's great. Uh, we pull the maps. Great. Verdon, uh, Quinton Van Hilton. Which traffic add-on do you use? What I'm using, um, Quinton. Another fly-by-wire. Another fly-by-wire Airbus. Well, guess what? If you download the installer for the fly-by-wire Airbus, which is free. Look. It's very good. It's free. Look, there's another update again. Uh, this is going to catch up with the Phoenix, the paywire, I'd say. Uh, but down here, they're going to have a A380 as well at some point. That's in the way. Anyway, down here. Uh, if you see this injector, FSLTL traffic injector, that's free. Download it, uh, and you just start it up on happy days. So that's how you get the, the traffic. Uh, and if you want an Airbus, which is, is pretty much, I don't know which is more high fidelity now, the Fidix or the, the Flybar wire, I don't know. Uh, they seem to be on a par, as far as I can work out. Um, Iceberg saying, next week we get an A310. Oh yes, that's right, that's the 11th. Big update from Microsoft Flight Simulator, folks. The A310. Colonel Clink sounds suspiciously interested in the A310. He doesn't like jets. But he was asking me questions about it, and I'm going, oh, okay. Well, we'll have fun with that, hopefully. Iceberg, you got your work cut out for you if that happens. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully then, we'll, we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll get the DAL1152 as well. You know, uh, so happy. Darkster's with us. 
Mr. Talkman, haha. Quinton, nice, that's nice. Great, okay, so we're caught up in the chat pretty much. Uh, let's get back in the cockpit and let's get taxiing, folks. Let's get taxiing. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the right here. So whilst we're taxiing, park back off. I need a bit of power. I want one flaps to take off. I'm just going through my motions here. Arm the lip dumpers and set your. I'm not going to set the brakes. Can I set the brakes now to, to max for the eject to take off? Does it not disconnect it when I tap the brakes? No? Okay, obviously not. Come on, I see I stopped it there. Come on. Come on, here is. I'll go back to arc mode. And tap. Oh, easy, good percent. Easy. Easy. Uh, let's get taxi instructions. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to get the taxi instructions. This is going to be hilarious. Just have a look at this, right? Just, just, this is. This is what they gotta repeat all this as well. Right, I'm turning to ground, right? Uh, Max CH79 has followed. Max, welcome to the madness. Welcome to the madness. Great to have you. Oh no, that wasn't what I wanted. Uh, select another runway for takeoff. We're we're, to let, we're 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 taking off. Turn turn right. Oh great, well, that's my hundred. Go back. Select another runway for takeoff. No, I don't want turn right. I'm zero one left. See, ten is one hundred, is it not? Damn yes. No. See, that's the problem with the traffic. Now I've stuffed that up. I wanted to show you that thing. Back. Okay, I'm gonna wing it. Okay, yeah, okay, so again, thank you. No, no, just, yeah, yeah, accept clearance. I can't go back, you see, I can't go back, it's very annoying. It's not 100%, obviously. Let's look, took the taxi wheels on anyway, okay? Let's get the baby wheels on. Uh, and let's have a look at our map, right? So what I'm gonna do is come out of here while we're taxiing very slowly. There's our baby lights here. Now, let's see, I may have asked for the wrong, I may have asked for the wrong runway. I may have stuffed that up. Let's go to Navigraph here. Let's see if that is still open. Yes, it is. So I want to take a right here. No, I want to take a right. That's not. No, no, no. We're going from zero one. I think I'm. Yeah. I know where I'm going. I messed up. See, I can't change that now with the chat. But you can see there it goes taxiway this, taxiway that, taxiway that. Uh, there's a lot of taxiways. But that looked actually a little bit simpler to me. I really did. Let's switch that off because that's not the right. It's not bringing me to the right place. There's Shady Sim. Shady Sim, welcome. Uh, now, because I've got this puppy here, this makes it an awful lot easier. So when I come to Echo here, I'm going to join this taxiway here and come all the way down here uh, for zero one left. Zero. Hang on. Let me just stop here for a moment, please. That is confusing, and I'm sure I'm not the first person to do that, right? Let's have a look at a flight plan. Zero, one, left. Zero, one, zero. So, ten. Ten. So, uh, let's check that with the winds, then. Right, let's have a look at the winds. See? Uh, let's have a look at the winds here. Uh... You're probably biting your, your fingers here. You're biting your thumbs here. Uh, going, actually, good percent. We're going to the wrong runway. We're going to the wrong runway, mate. Uh, depart the winds are... Um, one, two, zero. Right? Ha! One, two, zero. I'm coming from one, two... Zero. Oh. Okay. Let's just follow up and see what happens. I, I'm sure I'm nowhere I'm going. So we're going to have a tailwind. It doesn't matter. We can have a tail up of 15 knots in this one, so I'm not concerned. I just want to make sure I'm not stuffing it up. So that's that's all fine. I'm, I'm going the right direction. I'm going to take a right turn here now, and then we know what's going on and things. I think what it was trying to do was trying to taxi me out here first. So no, that's what was happening. Let's 
Gave me the right runway, folks. I really don't think it gave me the right runway. Or no, it did give me the right runway. Well, they're all landing in different, different, uh, you know, runway. So, a uh, sim brief is supposed to give you the correct runway. So, I don't know what's going on there. But we're going to take off from what we've been given. We live with the tailwind, don't we? Let's just come out a little bit. And have a look around. This is a very, very, very uh, interesting airport. I think if you're if you're looking now, this is free. This airport, all that activity, folks. Activity everywhere. Airplanes taken off. Life is happening. Uh, I always want this in the flight simulator. You know, someone thrown smoke bombs out of their their frontier cockpit. There, there we go. We're going to stop and wait for him now. Uh, and this is very. All the sounds I'm hearing, and you're hearing them as well. There's just lots of stuff and things happening, folks. And I'm a lot of trucks driving around. I've got my traffic up quite high. Um, you know, not a lot of trucks. There's one or two. I have it up to full blast. Now, I'm going to give way to this guy. Uh, he's going to turn off now. I hope he's going to go across me. Let's just hold here for him. What's that? Japan! Japan Airlines, folks! Japan. Japan. I'd love to go to Japan. I, 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 I hear it's very, very expensive. Even back in the day, I met this girl when I was traveling around Australia. She was a nice girl. She's from Japan. And she says, yes, but it's very expensive. She always wanted to cut my hair. Look, I'll leave the rest of that story out. <coughs> <laughs> I do just get my hair all the time. I wonder why. Uh, thank you, Gloppy D, for putting the Discord there in in the in the chat. I really appreciate you, Gloppy D. You're, you're, you're a hero, and uh, you, you are indeed a hero. I'm going to put that in the uh, Twitch, Twitch there, uh, guys. And Twitch there, you know, you can join the Discord. It's free. Everyone's very friendly. If you want to get into Flight Simulator, people are very friendly. Now, I'm not on it an awful lot, except for, uh, except for advertising not advertised but telling you when I'm streaming on Sunday just to confirm I get on the odd time but not as much as I'd like to all right so he's stopped there now right he's annoying me so I might have to turn off here and backtrack but I don't want to do that so would you would he would he not just go off and am I blocking him Look, it's a very long runway. Uh, let's go to zero one left. Uh, we're going to take a left here. We're going to take a left. We're going to come to a halt, uh, and I'll tell you why. Because I can't taxi and look down at the same time. Uh, I can't taxi and look down at the same time. So let's have a look here. Good, good, good. He'll probably move off now that we've done that. I'm just going to go through my memory items here. Uh, let's just say we're lined up and wait. Lined up and wait. Okay, because. Uh, Good at habits to hard as, as well as bad ones. So as we're lining up, we put the landing lights on. Go on, on, on. Okay, they're on. Great, they're on. Great. Uh, no sight of to take off. Great. We put our transponder on. And our TCAS on. <gasps> You see what happens when you look down. You see. Do you see what happens? It's not easy. I've wasted some runway, but I'm not concerned because we're taking... Oh. Uh, when you've got full rudder on there like that. So I've wasted a bit of runway now behind me. Which is not good. Ah, the rudders. What's going on? I thought that was fixed. Or is it just me? I'm using too much rudder. I want to get that center line in between my legs now. There we go. Okay, line up and wait. Okay. <laughs> uh, flaps are set to one. Great. Um, transponder and TCAS is on. We've got the lights on. We've got a brake set. Let's uh, hit takeoff config. 
make sure everything's good everything's normal and ready to go and also let's hit the constraints button double click i just click once the chrono the clock has started 50 percent and the engines uh make sure they're stable and come on brakes off off we go and all the way to flex oh, not full takeoff flex okay yeah keep the center line in between my legs there Go. There's a while taken off there. Good, we're alive for an hour. Are you kidding me? It's all in preparation, folks. 120 knots there. Do you want? Rotate. Up we go. 15 degrees. Come on. 15 degrees. I'll break her up. Just coming up. Feet now. I will want to fly manually for a bit. The steering's a little bit here gently with my hands. Oh, the camera, I've knocked the camera off. You can't see what I'm doing. Horror! Flops, uh, gears up. There we go. I know, I want to look at the window too. Oh, look at that. Let's let's look out the window. Put a on. Power back to climb. To climb. Climb, please. Trust is climb. Uh, trust is set to climb. We've got uh, autopilot one on. Uh, Auto throttle is armed. Uh, altitude is armed. Great. Eighteen thousand feet. Everything's good. Uh, we're waiting for take the flaps up now. We we'll take the flaps up now in a second. Just have a quick look outside here. So I don't miss the miss the eye candiness of the whole trip. There's a wrong way, the wrong way's behind us. It's, a, it's an interesting place, San Francisco. It's just so much to it. You know, LA is just... Mm. <laughs> it's just a splurge, LA. Whereas San Francisco's mountains and, you know, big bridges across big rivers. Flaps are now up. And we're going to switch our lights. Uh, we may turn off lights off and our nose lights are coming off. Safety belt signs are going to stay on until we get to 10,000 feet. Everything's fine. Let's get to the after takeoff checklist very quickly. Uh, after takeoff checks, gears up, flaps are up. Yeah, spoilers disarmed. Boom. Uh, autopilot set, nose light, runway lights off. Climb, barometric reference, so it's fine, we're not there yet. Both 10,000 feet, safety belt signs on, all the safety belt signs off. Okay, we're all good. Happy days. Off we go. Now the sun's coming out. Oh no, I can see all the lovely stuff. Let me show you down here. I have flown into San Francisco in the past. You get the Bay Bridge and all sorts of stuff come up going, going on, you know. Let me just accelerate the camera for you. I'm going to have a look quick go around. You know. Um, it's just one of those... Er it's like Sydney. In a way. With all the features and stuff, you know. There's some shipping going on here. There's San Francisco itself. City centre. I remember going to the docks here. Uh, Pier 69 or something, or 72 or something. There's the bridge. So there's lots happening, you know, in San Francisco. It's an interesting place. Now let's reset the cam here before something bad happens. As you know, it's possible that the autopilot could disconnect. Uh, the buttons isn't here. She's actually seeping the couch. So, uh, I think... Uh, 7,000 feet now. A restriction of 10,000 feet. Transition to 18,000 feet. The big thing here is to me coming in here to LA. For the love of God, Gripper Sim, hit the bloody Q and H. Oh, here's buttons. Here's producer buttons. Here she comes. I might be in trouble here, folks. Now, in the actual checklist for the approach, or have Q and H there. Is it actually in the checklist? No. I'm gonna write there again. H. That can really bother your flight when you're descending. If you don't set the Q and H or from standard to the actual Q and H, the local Q and H. So there's our constraint. Um, the ten thousand feet. So we're ten thousand feet now. We can get rid of the landing lights. We've tracked them. Uh, we can get the passengers get up, and we'll hear them walking around now shortly. What you see. 
Uh, and now all we've got to do is climb to 18,000 feet after this restriction here. See that there? Can't go above at 10,000 feet of port date for some reason. Well, you see, they've got traffic coming and going all over the shop. So they've got to watch the altitude, don't they, of all the aircraft. Now let's get some eye candy while we have to climb. In fact... Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, let's... There's trouble. <laughs> trouble folks and you know I know damn well what, what she's doing uh, but use the buttons has learnt she's adapted yeah she has adapted now she needs uh, the, the kind of dog buttons is oh she's trying to chew that thing all the time um, is Beagle's are very clever uh, so she comes in uh, and she causes havoc until until I give her the thing that begins with a T Right. Uh, or a surprise, let's say we call it. Let's have a look outside here. Oh. Uh, so she's going to start off now. Uh, hello, Peaches Buttons. He's saying hello to everybody there. Great. Happy days. Happy days, Peaches Buttons. Look at the cuteness. Look at the cuteness. Cuteness. Uh, She's using her Jedi, uh, Jedi cuteness mind trick on me. Yeah, look, look at that. You can't refuse such a little dog or producer like that. Can you? So she's going to start causing havoc. Uh, but let's just get up above the transition altitude first, and we worry about that. So we're twelve thousand feet now. The autopilot has to switch off. Thank. Oh, let's just. It's okay, it does that sometimes. It's not exact. Uh, it, if it just it sometimes it just peeps over the speed limit a little bit, right? Uh, very slightly, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, now, let's have a look at our flight plan here. 306 miles to go, that's not so bad. Uh, so that's all good. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for producer, I'm going to preempt. Just the buttons going kicking off. Right. Uh, that body language there is saying, I want things to happen. And we all know what that is. Uh, Mr. Sla Sunlander, welcome. Uh, they're all busy spraying the airfield, he says. Smoke bombs should be fixed in uh, the next uh, FSLTL release. Yeah, smoke bombs. It is a bug, isn't it? Uh, Udall, I hope I'm pronouncing it. You know Microsoft need it to on the plane passengers. Have passengers on the plane so they can complain, yeah. I'm guessing. Watch what they say about LA, boy. Uh, let the packs roll over, stretch out. Uh, how do you do all the auto uh, mad dock landing? Auto land, uh, I think you're saying. Um, you all you do, right, when you're coming down to the ILS. Uh, I'll show you. You just put on the second autopilot once you come to the ILS. So, auto land, it, it isn't a, a massive mystery. Once you know how to do it, it's easy enough, and I'll show you that. You'll see it on the way in. Uh, remind me, though, in, in the comments. Just say, you know, represent how do you do auto land. You'll see what, I, what I'm going to do. You, you'll see me do it, right? It's about 20, 30 minutes away, right? We're we'll coming to land. Oh, is that the QH? Sounded once, sounded twice. So, that went well. Uh, we're also going to climb to uh, our altitude of 39,000 feet. Oh, disconnected there because I have to. Oops, I was too late there. No big deal. Okay, so we're going up to 39,000 feet now. Which, by the way, is optimal. According to the flight plan. Uh, Record no, that's recorded max. Uh, optimal. No, 30, it's time to go to 39. Okay, well, you know. Optimal is 37. I'm going to 37,000 feet. I'm oh, sorry. I'm not going to coffee corner. Not going to happen. There we go. 37,000 feet set. That's set. Now, whilst I'm doing that, I see Buttons is trying to get behind all the wires now. She knows what she's doing. Now, producer Buttons. Talk to the camera, right? Would you? Producer Buttons. Would you produce a box? 
would you like see so she's gonna go behind here okay and in there behind her all behind all the patrols and try and stop the stream until she gets a treat that's what's gonna happen so producer buttons definitely wants a treat you can see there she's gonna want a treat and let's get producer buttons a treat so producer buttons would you like to come outside with me and get a treat okay let's get a treat Feed the passengers, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for your culinary enjoyment for this flight, we have some dog treats. Uh, the stewardess handing them out now. Please do enjoy. Yeah. Has the, has, the, has the autopilot disconnected? Oh, so things are going well, folks. Things are going well. We're still climbing to 37,000 feet. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, not like that. Not like that either. Yeah, so our descent is, is a good bit away. It's, it's actually, no, it's about 100 miles away, so... We, we, it's only LA we're going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look outside here. Let's get some eye candy. I'm going to have a look at the comments whilst. Uh, have a look at the comments whilst I remove my face just for the moment to the cameras for some eye candy. Thirty-one minutes to go, folks. Let's have a look down the scene. Look at that. That is so California. That is so California, folks. Right, let's have a look at YouTube there. I've missed some uh, channels on YouTube there. So let's see if we've got some more people out with us. Uh, yeah, Mr. S uh, Sunlander says, uh, Pooch, oh no, uh, he's not on about the Jedi stuff again. Yeah, Producer Buttons uh, has Jedi mind tricks, you know, <laughs> in order to get those surprises. Beautiful skies in LA, uh, Skipper, he says, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Sunlander. Yes, it is. It's a clear day. Um, nice bit of scenery. No name tags, digital flight and VR. Yes, thank you for reminding me, by the way. Let's tag up. Let's see who's with us. Okay, it doesn't show the ones close in, which is really annoying. It doesn't show them all. We've got a Lonely Reaper, right, in the FA-18. Uh, Barmy, are you with us as well? No, that's a Cessna 310. Anyone below us? No. I know there's more of you flying with us. I'll leave the tags up for a while. You know, I love that that traffic mount, you can see the, the air. Can you see that aircraft above the horizon there? 
contrail. By the way, that's what. Contrails aren't throwing out exhaust tubes. Oh, there is a little bit of exhaust, but that's not what you're seeing. Uh, what you're seeing is the air being heated up from the engines. So what happens when you heat up the air? It condenses, and then it's behind it, it kind of dissipates again. But the contrails should be a lot longer. They go on for ages, don't they? Uh, they're probably making it shorter for space. But I'm not complaining. I know there's more of you looking here. So there's another one of you there, and I know that. It's not showing, but I'll leave the tags up. Okay, got another 7,000 feet to go. We're already going to have our descent ferry. Uh, whatever, our descent's going to be... Well, we got a good bit to go. Uh, 80 miles to go to our descent. Now, uh... Okay, yes, this is too steep glide path ahead for us. Okay, it, it bothers me. That is down here somewhere. Ripper? Is that a waypoint there? Uh, after I named Dr. Ripper himself? Uh, perhaps, uh, Is, does it tell you? There it is. There it is. Right? So, so here, 4,000 feet between here and here. Now, I'm hoping that will disappear when we slow down. I don't know. But this is flight plan from, from Simbrief, and they're supposed to be real world flight plans. So, I don't know if that's a bug, you know, or not. But look, we learn and we fix it. That's our problem. But that's 2,000 feet. I'll get that down. That would be a problem for us, folks. Now, we got, we got the speed brakes. Well, before we use the speed brakes, we can always, you know, manually uh, select our speed. Right here. We can slow down when we get to that point. Uh, and then that will disappear. You know? That little arrow here, the blue arrow, is telling me when we're going to reach flight level 37. See, it's the same colour. Right. I don't know if that is there. A PXN or something there. Let me zoom in here and get a better view of that. That must be some sort of a, a waypoint or something. Right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, Mr. Sunlander says you should fly in here, LA, that is, on uh, Monday and Tuesday. Rain, rare rain coming. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep that in mind then. Thank you very much, Mr. Sunlander. Uh, I almost certainly probably fly in LA if the weather's bad. So you're going to get rare rain. Yeah, so in San Francisco, in, in California in general, uh, it started with water shortages for quite some time now. They're having big problems uh, with getting rain in San Francisco. You know, post pipe bands, very expensive for water, you know. It's uh, they're running out of water basically in California. It's a big problem, and it's. I believe California's a ship now. You know? Well, it is. It's. Oh, shit's Creek. Because. It's gone too far. Um, it's not with the law in California. 
And at this point, you can, you, you know, if anyone puts in the time to study, they can just change the law. Like in Carmel, for example, there was a fashion law, okay? Some guy, I don't know, uh, a mayor or something like that, or some law guy, they just make up these laws. And there was a fashion law, you had to be well-dressed and stuff to go into Carmel. Uh, Carmel's a very fancy place to live. Uh, and I learned this, that you say, I couldn't believe it, so I was sitting there going, so actually, you, you can make up laws, if, you know, quite easily. Yeah, but they were telling us all about the crazy laws. So, you know, land grabs are happening in California as well, you know. You can't sell your house until you do X, Y, Z. Um, never mind the economy in, in LA as well. People are leaving. Big companies are leaving LA or California to go to Texas. Uh, so they're losing a lot of stuff and things in California. So see here, we're coming up now to our 37,000 feet. There it is. So we'll be in the cruise for not long, folks. And I'll tell you how long we'll be in the cruise for, because I'm going to do my little calculation thing. Right. So when we do we descend? Well, actually, uh, the Airbus will tell us when we descend. It, it'll give us an indication. Instead of that blue arrow there, it'll be a white one, let me show you. Just for those who, who are going to have to keep repeating it. Because we're trying to get newbies on board our madness, okay? We're trying to get a few of you into the, into the Airbus. There, that's where we descend, okay? So when I get to that point, I'll simply, uh, which I'll do now, just roughly, uh, this button here, we'll put it into 18. Uh, I'll pull that knob out. Sorry, I'll push it in. Let's get, oh, the camera's gone, sorry, let me put the camera there. Let me put the camera and you can't see a thing. Uh, so I push I push uh, that button in and we start setting it to 18,000 uh, 18, feet but what I should really have in there to be honest with you is the height of the capture of the ILS right? and that's going to be in here let's go to the main menu so let's get our arrival Q&H if you don't mind no, I have a problem reading this is that the Q&H 30 3028. Uh, so, let me see that. Uh, okay, let's look at the wind. 3028, yeah, 3028. I'm going to put it in the secondary box here. 3028. Uh, so, at 18,000 feet, I want to uh, put that in. And if I forget, I'm going to stuff things up. Right, where were we? Approach. Let's get ready for our approach. You've plenty of time. <coughs> COVID. It's Friday. It's Friday. Uh, number graph. Uh, let's go here. Uh, let's go to... Let's just right. Does it have our right here? Oh, it does. Look. How cool is that? We're halfway there, folks. Things are going to happen taking fast as we get there. Right, so let's have a look at San Francisco here. This, uh, this is my first time doing this. Right, arrival charts into, no, not San Francisco, you dummy. We're going to LAX. Uh, uh, approach. We're coming to ILS uh, runway 24 right. 24 right. Find this localizer. Oh no. Oh yes, this is not what I'm used to looking at, to be honest with you folks. It's a bit different. Uh, we want to step, oh this is step down. Oh, lots of step down. So what I'm going to put, I'm going to put it to 2,200 feet. This is when we capture the ILS, okay? So what the, the management system will navigate all this for us. The vertical navigation. So I'm going to put 2,200 in the box. What are you doing? Oh, I thought it descended. It's just turning. So now, uh, don't press that now. Right? Don't push it in now. Because when I push that in, that's when we start to descent, and that's at this point here. Right? So, uh, what else we got to worry about here? Let's zoom in here. What I worry about 
Uh, missed approach climbed to 2,000 feet. Okay, which we have, so I don't have to change that on the ILS. Heading 251 and then outbound on LAX VOR. Radio 260 to uh, RAF FS in uh, 15D and hold. Okay, so where's the holding point? Where is the holding point? There it is, there. So that's easy enough. There we go. One, two. easier on the big screen to be honest with you. Okay, LAX. It's easier to read it here, I have to tell you. Approach. Too far right, paranoia, sanity and aviation. No. It's easier to zoom in with the mouse. To rafts. Rafts. Great. I have it. Done. Easy. 260 uh, inbound track 260. Okay, great. Uh, and the beauty about this is uh, if I'm going around, <coughs> let's say I got the autopilot on for the ILS, uh, it does it all for you. Just make sure the autopilot's on. You just full power, tug of power, and it'll do it all for you. You just got to take up the flaps and the gear. Uh, and bring the throttle back to climb, which is nice. So we're going to start our descent now soon. Uh, I want to get the weather in. We'll do that when we're when we're on our way down. Let's have a look at the chat. Mister Sunlander says you missed our big wins yesterday, but there's uh, there's still a breeze today. So the weather's bad in LA, is it? You know? Uh, we have a Twitch there. Uh, Lonely Rupert's chat to Iceberg, I think. He's just saying that he notices a lot of crash to desktops um, before uh, a release. So the 11th is going to be a big update. Microsoft flights, some helicopters, gliders, loads of airplanes coming out. DC-10, study level, um, the Spirit of St. Louis. There's a lot of stuff happening uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I'm, I, I, I look forward to it, but I dread it at the same time because they introduce new stuff, and then there's bugs, and it's all hell breaks loose. But make sure to remember, as I should as well, is to remove your community folder before you do the update. Then do the update, boot it up, then shut it down, boot it up again. Great, make sure it's working, and then shut it down, put your community folder back in, and then boot it up again. I think that's the best way to go about it. Uh, so we're getting ready for our, our descent. I'm going to actually do it now, right, to see what happens. A little bit early. Now I hit the button in, right? I'll have to do this as well. I had this problem yesterday. Put that out. Push it in. Push that in. And I think it'll do it in a second now. Because we're, we're right over it now. Come on. Why won't it descend, folks? Why won't it descend? Why? What am I doing wrong here? Have I done something silly? This happened to me yesterday. So I'm going to do it manually. Alright. I'm going to do it manually. Oh, hang on. It's telling me here. I know what's happened. I don't know what's happened there. Okay. Uh, we should have been higher, according to the flight plan. Remember, it was 39,000 feet. So, I've hit descent there, and it's actually waiting. See that dot there? It's waiting, right, uh, for us to get to that dot, because we actually... It wasn't going to descend, because it wasn't time yet. So, I did it early. So it's a, a very slight descent now, but you see the dots coming down. So there you go. So we're good. So we're descending. We're on our descent phase now, folks. Happy days. Let's get ready for the arrival, shall we? So the weather... Uh, the weather... We'll come back to the approach. 
let's get the weather in our uh, come on let's go uh my flash let's refresh it the new arrival lax uh qnh is as i said where was it it's very awkward to read because i'm not used to using that 3028 so 3028 so let's go to the performance page see it says enter destination date that's what that means so i go to the performance uh, that's our descent next phase then of course is our approach so 3028 is the QH. Okay. The temperature. It reads differently. Uh, 18. 18 degrees. That makes sense. Tell me if I'm doing this wrong now, because it is a different tough uh, than I'm used to reading, believe it or not. Magnetic wind. Three uh, zero three zero three knots. Zero, no, no wind. Zero three zero slash three knots. Boom. Transition level is eighteen thousand feet. Uh, Barrow radio. Now, okay. So, uh, what's our decision? Height or altitude? So, let's use this guy here. It's easier. Easier to see for everybody. We're using ILS. Oh, it's not a cat three. Is it? LA? No. Decision ice. Uh, full. We, I don't know if we're CRD, but it looks like it's boat there. 208 feet. Okay. Uh, Localised rate is 520. So. Uh, I don't know if Cat 3 going to LA. I just assumed it would be. Obviously not. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use. Oh, we'll use 336 for shits and giggles. Uh, 336 uh, in the barrel. Uh, yeah. I want to use the radio. <laughs> let's let's do 336. Let's do 336. I said that first, didn't I? Yeah. 336. 336. Decision height. So to call out at that high altitude, if I have the right Q and H in here, it'll call out minimums. And that's when I decide whether I'm going to continue, if I can see the runway, or if I can't see the runway, and going around. Or if it's an unstable approach, go around. There you go. That's what I'm thinking. Um, okay, so mm -hmm. oh, I didn't do my calculation thing, did I? 110 miles to go. Uh, what's this here? Uh, we've got to be below 29,000 feet here. Okay, thinking of 18. I'm thinking of the. Uh, I just said here. Anything else we need to do? Let's go to have a look at Radnav here. I was flying to Birmingham the other day and it didn't change it. So let's just check the frequencies. Uh, I've got the plate over here. One 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 decimal one. Yeah, yeah, nice. Zero seven coming into. Like Two four right. Two four right. Oh, okay. Two thousand two hundred feet. For right, frequency is one oh eight decimal five. One oh eight decimal five, and the approach course is two different plates that I'm used to here. Two five one, so we're good. That's all fine. Happy days. Uh, the go around, I know the other plate was wrong. Uh, they go around, uh, climb to 2,000 feet, uh, heading to 5,000 it's the same, yeah, okay, right, so, okay, great. Uh, happy days, look at all the points there. That's because of the hills and the mountains. So it's kind of a step-down procedure. Okay, we're all good. Uh, 95 miles to go. 27,000 feet. Are we going to be too high with that whole steep approach, uh, approach thing, you know? 
So I think um, when we get to 18,000 feet, I love the way they have gripper here. Look. Uh, so we get to 18,000 feet. I'm going to stop being quiet. Uh, well, at least until I I get that damn Q and H in. ALS. I'm going to do that way ahead of time. Just so we have the ILS frequency 108.5, 108.5. Yes, that's correct. I O S S I O S S hasn't identified yet. That's fine. Uh, and everything looks fine. Let's get some eye candy and say hello to at last. Let's get rid of the camera so momentarily. Right, momentarily. We have following us, folks. We've got Shady Sim. We've got Lonely Reaper. Doing a, a roll there. We've got K Dog 95 Sergeant. K Dog, welcome, Air Force. Welcome. K Dog, it's great to see you. Uh, I'm delighted when we see new people here, folks. I really am. Uh, and Doc Duda, who's been with us now for a while. Uh, and Hugo Stiglitz. Ah, look at that guy in the lower right-hand corner. Hugo Stiglitz. Uh, that's from Inglorious... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the movie. With, with Brad Pitt, remember? Hugo Stiglitz. Sorry, did I miss anyone? Uh, Doc Duda, uh, k Dog 95 Sergeant, Crusader. Lonely Reaper and Shady Sim behind us anyway. So welcome guys. I hope you're having fun. Some of you I think are learning the Airbus. Hopefully one day we'll get some people learning along with me. Ahead of us there. I don't recognise anyone particularly yet. Uh, ahead of me. I don't think they're with us. Look at that. See the water. There's no water. All the water's gone in this part of the world. Which is a shame. 23,000 feet. Let's see if we're too high now. We're not. We're on profile. Now, this happens to me going into Birmingham from Dublin. Now, all of a sudden, we're too high. So, I've got 18,000 feet in my head now. I think you changed the Q and H. It's very important. Uh, I think it stuffed it up in me last time, folks. You know? So, this is going to be awkward. I wish I had actual physical buttons. What I'm trying to do, folks, is I was looking. I would love to get this panel here and this panel here. Because all my other autopilot stuff will not work with the, uh, the Phoenix. Which is infuriating. I'd love to get this panel because you've got to push and pull the buttons, right? And that'd be so cool to have that. If anyone knows where to get this stuff. And it doesn't cost, you know, the price of a mortgage. I'd love to have it. Uh, I saw one or two places in China and I was gone oh, it's really cheap you know but I'd love this stuff here um, I would I'd love to manufacture this stuff actually well actually, it's not a big market for it really so. but you know if there's a company because this is a hobby right let me just check if there's this stuff here 30,000 feet this is a hobby folks right so if somebody somewhere, right, they, they can sell the shell, right, right, or some sort of shell, right, and you can buy bit by bit, you know, if you could buy, you know, uh, you know, the, the shell, uh, and you put your monitor in front, and you could buy these two screens here, maybe this one, all the bits and pieces separately, you know, so over time you could fill the cockpit, wouldn't that be cool? Now I know you can get parts of these separately, you can get them from FMCs and radios, and the throttles and stuff, but if you could just buy them one at a time, and if they made it cheap enough, so over time you could have your little cockpit in your den. Do you know what I mean? I think that'd be hilarious. Uh, and then maybe, you know, uh, a carpenter would make you the shell so you could put your overhead panels on and whatever you want. Don't worry about the circuit breakers. <laughs> I was kicking. I watched the video, right? And this guy he had his, his little cockpit made up. He was obviously a genius. Well, you'll see it in YouTube. There's loads of guys like that, but that's a few. There's my 18,000 feet now. We're going to uh, change Q&H to 3028. Here we go. No. 3028. It's going to give out to me now because I'm too slow. 
28. Okay. I didn't realise how important that was. 3028, 3028. And we're done. Uh, now we're going to send 16 and 13. So we are now. We don't have the ILS yet. We're 58 miles out. So all, all is good so far, folks. So anyway, where was I? Um, so it wouldn't be great, you know. But anyway, on YouTube, uh, you see these, uh, they, they've got carpenters and they build the whole, the whole thing, right? But this particular guy. There was a door and everything, right? And uh, he had one or two, they had the first four seats. A few seats at the front and the windows with monitors outside the window so his friends could have drinks and have a laugh. And watching the monitors, like, you know, in front of the seats of a monitor. Uh, and they could watch what was happening with a camera in the cockpit. And they're sitting there drinking and having a laugh. They're too high now, that's our steep approach, I bet you. Uh, so I'm gonna put a bit of speed brake on, very slowly. See what that steep approach but here it is so merce between merce and kobe now it does glide all the way down that's what it's designed to do so that's actually an idle it sees as idle there so that's what it's designed to do that's why you know you say fuel otherwise it'll start powering up the aim to keep the altitude the profile So no identifier yet from the ILS, that's fine. Uh, 49 miles to go. There it is there in the flight plan section. Let us make sure we go to performance now and we get ready to activate the approach phase. QNH is set. So landing checklist for us. We'll do the landing checklist. But to end that story with the cockpit, um, let me put the cameras back on now. Uh, let's get the recorder going. Let's get the recorder going and all that stuff. Let's get the cameras back on for approach. One, two, three. Let's get my controller camera on the yoke. There we go. Also, we need to uh, start the recorder for the landing because we want to look at the review uh, of the landing. So starting flight recorder. I use flight recorder at the minute. Uh, there is another one. I think they've developed quite a bit. Uh, flight control replay. No, it's not something like that. So we're recording now. Uh, you can get this in flight sim.to. There we go. Recorder has begun. And let's do the checklist, shall we? Descent. FCDU altitude is set and pushed. Safety belt sign. Put the safety belt on. Uh, yeah, we put it on now. Uh, safety belt sign on. You hear the people starting uh, stop talking there now in a minute. Uh, and all that sound, sound effects is from FS Realistic, which is quite good. Uh, safety belt sign on. Uh, anti ice, we don't need. Uh, parametric reference is already set. One over 10,000 feet landing light on it is Q and H I have there in my checklist. And Q and H is good and we've got no IC in there. See the little thing there? I can see that no IC. Um, uh, ND range is used. Constraints display, yes. Confirm ILS frequency and approach course, yes, I've done that. Intercept heading, that's uh, down to uh, the intercept. Just have a last look there for folks uh, following us. And and check us complete the shape soon. Uh, stable the deer, greetings, welcome. Uh, what is the meaning of life? Uh, the meaning of life, uh, I know what that is because I'm an animation from God. Uh, the meaning of life is to, uh, you know, I think it's different for everybody. That's the only Reaper. Uh, Doc Tuda and Shady Sims in the Airbus. Shady Sim, you're, you're, you're flying a missile. Careful, you're starting back there. 
Uh, I have to go for Simli before the... Is that a go for Simli? No, no, it's, it's Spirit. Nice one, Jiggy Sip. Nice one. Uh, no news in the FA-18. That's why he can do that, the large jet there. Now that looks like LA in front. See there? Uh, down here. That's LA. So we're going to come down here and then back in. Uh, so that's what's happening there. So we're descending. We're good. We're on target. There we go. So there's the airport out here. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. It looks a little bit cluttered. Let's do a bit. There we go. Our profile looks good. Uh, let's see if this steep approach path has gone. I won't activate the approach praise yet. I think I should make a rule in the stream because some of you have been watching and I'm chatting and I'm too high and I haven't done anything. And I go, oh my god, I'm over the descent point for the last five minutes. And I screw the whole thing up. There it is. After Mace Merce. After Merce. Juice now. Okay, so it's coming up. We just keep an eye on it. This this business of I I hear actually someone told me yesterday this is a bug. Right, but I'm not going to take it lightly because weird things happen. There's the airport down here. See that there? That's the airport there. A little bit below profile now. That's fine. We're slowing down. Well, that's fine. That's not a big deal. We need to be below uh, above seven and below eight for this point here. Let's go to ten miles here. So we're actually below well, above seven. Yeah, we're above seven. And we're turning off. Great. Okay, so that's fine. Happy days. So check this is done. Great, so let's think ahead now. Right? Um, there's LA there. Look. Los Angeles. Traffic City. Uh, since the beginning of time, I think. Traffic City. Traffic City in LA. Uh, let's get atmospherics here. Let's close this window down here. That looks nice. Leave that there, and there's this one here. A bit of atmosphere in the cockpit there, folks. There's none for here. No, nope, there is one here. And I can't see anything now. That's for when you're high up in the crease, you don't want to be blinded. But I think there's a shade here in the real thing as well. Uh, I, I can only guess. Uh, is that it there you put down here? No. Okay, so we're going directly over LA. Uh, 6,000 feet. 2,200 set. Let's arm the spoilers. Let's get our brake set for the reject takeoff. You can press this with the mouse, but I'm using my little switch here. And it'll only let you do medium, but you can press it with the mouse as well if you don't have it. There's our turn here. So, Merce, uh, that is the problem. We have to be 4,000 feet at that point, right? And then drop down to 2,200. So, what I'm going to do is I might just dump out the speed brake. So, I'm going to dump out the speed brake like a lunatic. Uh, we'll manage it, if even I have to change the speed here. Uh, and capture it manually, that would be fine. So I can't think of anything else to do. Um, uh, which runway are we landing on? Only Ripper says, uh, I have chosen to land, uh, well, the flight plan told me to land on runway 24 right. 24 right, Lonely Ripper. I'll type it in there. You need more view. Eight is too little. What is it? You need more view. Eight is too little. Stable the deer. What's that? What do you mean? Just elaborate there if you can. Stable the deer, that'd be great. Let me know, save the dare. You might be telling me something I don't know. Oh, the shade pulls up from the height. The uh, oh, the, f the stream is froze. Yeah, that's YouTube. 
I'm getting good indications here. Um, oh yes, uh, you will show me an automatic landing. Okay, I will. Now it's not a Cat Three, right? What it means is, right? So uh, what I'm going to show you here, uh, when we come onto the approach, okay? Yeah, I'm going to talk about these needs coming here. I don't know how much you know. There were 11 miles since the crow flies. So we want to see this is going to be a magenta diamond, and this is magenta diamond. I want this here and this here. So when they come into line, when I'm when I'm coming down here, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to act. I'm going to put it switched off. That's the two steep approach path. I wonder, is it? No. Why did that come off? That makes absolutely no sense. Autopilot flight up off. That is strange. Okay, that's we're manual now. That is very strange. Now that's probably because I changed. Uh, I changed everything. Uh, remember earlier on the fly plant. I'm starting to climb up again here to reach that. I think. Let's just see if we can activate it again if we get our profile. There we go, autopilot back on, we're back on profile now. So you see what I mean? There's a little bugs here, but you know, it really helps you. But you know, in all fairness to you, I don't know if that was me or the flight sim, but I did change the flight plan, so that's where I'm probably getting this too, too steep, steep uh, approach path. So I'm going to, if I can get rid of that ex constraint. So I'm going to go direct to Kobe. Let, that might fix it, or maybe not. Uh, you know, I think. I think. Now, we're overhead there now. Let's put the speed brake out. We'll just go around, you know, if it doesn't work. That's because I put the speed brake down. Let's get back onto profile then. That could be this too steep approach path. So I'm descending now a good bit. I'm going to go below the profile now and I'm going to manually intercept the ILS. 17 miles to go. I've got to concentrate now, but I will show you the auto land uh, in, in a manner of speaking. Okay. Uh, you're, only go you're going to do what I'm going to do. What I'm doing, and all you're going to do is you're going to press, you're going to press the uh, second autopilot. Now I've got to concentrate here. Autopilot back on. No, it's not going to, not going to do it. Okay, so flat manually, no big deal, 16 miles out. I'm at 2,200 feet. Feet. Give it to me, please. 2,500. Give me that. 15 miles out. Come on. So I'm taking half my time pressing these down buttons. Intercept it manually to have a dash with super crisp buttons here. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, let me concentrate now. Sterile cockpit. No, oh, where is the ILS? Two thousand two hundred. Come on, down you go. Decluttering. So I'm gonna concentrate for a minute. Get down. Get down. 2,200 feet. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> yeah, I see what's happening here. It's really taking us in very, very... I'm going to have to do this manually now because it's not, that's not right. The, uh, the localizer should be, should be at least 10 miles and it's coming out here. Right, so I'm going to come way out here, ignoring the flight director uh, and get on get on the uh, the ILS box one. Ah, I hit the bloody thing there. There we go. Okay, approach mode. So I'm going to hit the approach mode. Please turn left. 
No. No, yeah, we'll turn left. It's because the other pilot's down. Now, approach. Good. Capture it. Capture it. Shouldn't be doing this at all. Capture that glide slip. It's doing its best. Right, so all I did there is once you capture, uh, hit, the, hit the approach button, right? Uh, and for a, uh, an all the way landing down to the bottom, you hit the second. No, oh, it's gone nuts now. Come on. So, uh, look here. So, I'm going to hit, if I want to do an auto land, I hit the approach button too now. That's all. I don't think it's a cat three, uh, but we'll try it. But I want to land it manually, okay? So we're on it. You're dead. I'm going too fast. Going too fast because that fucking issue messed me up. It's activated it already. Come on, slow down. Slow down. Not It's gonna beep at me a little bit. That's fine. So we're on auto land now. Uh, and if you have a cat three approach, then it's all the way down. Full flaps now. Speed brakes off. Oh no, speed brakes leave them up. No, I'll make them in too fast here. So it's not a stable approach. One thousand. Uh, now, if I don't get 140 soon, I'm going to go around. So it's up to the company, I think. Got four, I think it's five miles out to have a stable approach. But we're good now, right? So we're all good. So I can take the speed brakes up. I'm going to take over manually. I'm going to disconnect the autopilot. Autopilot disconnected. Shut it up. And uh, at the airplane's mine and recording. So, didn't do a very good job. But I'm going to do a good job here. Uh, it always takes me in too high if I follow the ILS. Now, I have to zoom in a little bit here to get it down. Uh, hands on the throttle. Ready to activate the reverse. Thanks for the bing bing. Uh, that's the turtle witch. Is it the turtle witch? Hundred above. Minimum. Continue. See, I would have been way too high now if I followed the glide slip. Because uh, I'm looking, I'm in for the touchdown mark. I see the the big lines on either side. One hundred. That's the touch marker. Because so, I want a greaser now, don't I? Auto thrust off. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Five. There you go. Look at all the planes going around. Look at them all going around, look. <laughs> and I'm not even using the reverse thrust. Let's go to the end of the room. Reverse. That's reverse off. That's the traffic. Very clever, isn't it? So, uh, for whatever reason, Simbrief put us on the wrong one, mate. But, you know, uh, the winds can change. Well, we do have a wind here. Look at the windsock. So, we did come into the wind. Let's have a look at the windsock. You know, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why they're landing that way. Because uh, it doesn't make a difference. He's, he's going around there. That is absolutely fabulous. That is the traffic add on. Uh, now I should be going the same direction as they are. I don't know why I did that. Look, it's a flight simulator. Uh, so let's come to a halt here, clean up, and get taxi instructions. Uh, and then we're going to have a look at the replay. So brakes are on. So uh, we're going to take the flaps up. Uh, spoiler is disarmed. That's fine. Uh, also, we want the runway lights uh, off. Uh, taxi lights on, and we turn off lights on. Uh, let's have a look at the checklist. Oops. Checklist, 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 checklist. After landing checklist. So, uh, wind, weather radar off. You don't want to burn anyone on the ground, do you? Because it will fly you. Yeah. Picture of being sure we don't need that. Uh, 
off. It's in the middle of mission. There we go. Props are up. Yeah, T-Cast is uh, set to off. Unless we're uh, out of the runway, so I'd leave that on there for the minute. I don't know what the procedure is there, because we've got to cross some runways now, I would imagine. Uh, Transponder off, yeah. Predictor wind shear, yeah, that's fine. Nose light off, landing light off. Spoilers retracted. APU master on. Let's put it on the APU. APU boom, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Start the APU. Uh, and anti ice is required. Okay, so uh, let's get taxi instructions for the laugh. For shits and giggles. Uh, it's not that accurate with lights in my know. Maybe they, with the update, they'll have that. So let's tune to LA Grant. Uh, taxi to gates, please. And it says, I'm going to write this down. Oh my god. So gate E6 using taxiway Alpha Alpha cross cross runway 6 right. Alpha Alpha Echo Romeo Charlie Charlie 12 and acknowledge the clearance. So as you're writing that back, you've got to go A firm, uh, taxi to gate Echo 6 Alpha Alpha cross runway 6 right. Then to taxiway Alpha Echo Romeo Charlie Charlie tw uh, Charlie Twelve for Gate Echo Six, and your call sign. So I don't know where I am. <laughs> uh, where am I? Uh, let's take our time. Let's take our time, and let's get Navigraph up here. Let's get the Navigraph up here. Let's see where we are in the taxi system if it will tell us. So in Navigraph, they have the uh, taxi, kind of, taxiways. Grand charts. Standard taxi routes. Go and give me them. No, I don't want to read stuff. That's before I get there. Oh, it's very slow. I just want to get the map. It tells me where roughly I am within the sim. There, we're down here. So that's the only one you get. And I can't really zoom in there, folks. Uh, so we're on Alpha Alpha, looks like to me. Um, and also, you see, I can't even see that. I know you can't see it. Alpha Alpha. So we're going to cross E6 to Alpha Alpha here. Okay. Uh, so that's crossing the runway. Uh, Romeo 6. That doesn't say anything there. Uh, oh, sorry. Cross runway 6 right. Okay. Then Alpha Alpha. Which is here, I presume. Yes. Then Echo. Uh, then Romeo. I can't see a Romeo. Do you know? I can't see a Romeo. Uh, and then Charlie. You know? So it's it's a tricky business, folks. Oh, what's that? Fog? Uh, so let's put on the baby legs, as I call them. Baby wheels. Uh, and taxi. And just see. I just want to see how it works there. Park and break off. Let's taxi out. Uh, we got permission to cross the runway 6 right for Alpha Alpha. So we're clear. Look at that, it left all the traffic moving around and stuff, you know. I haven't done Heathrow yet. I haven't landed in Heathrow yet, bizarrely enough, folks. Uh, that is, if you go to Heathrow in London, and you're around the airport, you'll see them all stacked coming into land one after the other, and you see all these lights on final. It's incredible. You can see them all going around in the hold of the sky there's just lights everywhere around Heathrow and that was years ago when I witnessed that that was back in 1980 something that was 89 uh, and it's even busier now uh, it's just it's like to see buttons please come back with that please thank you it's a sight to see and it's a sight to behold you know it really is a sight to behold so this is uh, the add-on this is the Asobo and it looks really detailed all the rust on the thing there, look. Uh, and it's not getting choppy for me at all. It's not getting choppy in the slightest. Uh, and they got those lovely green kind of taxiways either side uh, with those uh, markers. I don't know what this means. I don't know what the green is for. Obviously, that's what just button's kicking off there. You don't need to see that. That's what just button's kicking off. Um, but the logic of these lines here what is that you know so many questions now the, the center line here if you have your nose wheel on the center line here you're guaranteed clearance from the wing from f you know the wings from hitting an object okay so that makes sense uh these guys here i'm not too sure what why they have the little lines in there for as as down here 
Uh, there's one of our boys there. I think that's one of our boys. Is it? Do I go up here and see? That's Dr. Duda. Dr. Duda, nice taxi. Uh, Dr. Duda, please don't go to gate uh, Golf Echo 6. Because it probably told you to go there as well, I would imagine. Uh, I worked in the ramp in Heathrow. Mad place to Scloppy D. Oh, great. That was uh, an interesting job, I would say. Uh, working in the ramp in Heathrow. Uh, permission to hit the like button, please. Oh, yes, please. Thank you, everyone. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. They don't have the traffic and things happening and stuff, folks. Let me clutter down just to get the reels in there for you. Here we go. This is taxiway... I don't know, because there's no sign. There should be a sign here. You know, it's pointing the wrong way, so I don't know. And we go straight up here. So let's see where we are then. Right. This is dangerous looking in like this. It's not telling me. It's not telling me. <coughs> yes, it is. Uh, it looks like we're on track. Taxiway. November. I'm just following those lines, folks. That's where it told us to go. So it's not quite accurate. Uh, the actual taxi instructions for Let's Simulator itself. So you're doing this uh, the good advice is if you're going to sim brief just go regional easy airports with one or two taxiways don't go like this to, to Heathrow now I, I think maybe they might take it easy but <coughs> as you know yourself if you go to these big airports you spend most of the time on the ground taxiing at least it feels like it you know you think you're going to be off the airplane in, in a matter of minutes but no you've got a long way to go Over here, I see. Look at that. I'm gonna take a left here now. See, there's no signs telling me here, right? So, no wonder. Uh, no wonder. Uh, there we go, there's our left. So I'm trying my best now to keep the nose wheel, which is right underneath me, actually. Uh, on that wheel. Uh, sorry, uh, underneath me, the, the taxi line. go now can you see something here okay so we are on taxiway tango now I didn't mention anything about tango no sir where's it taking us where the bloody hell is it taking us Is it taking us? This is hilarious. Uh, welcome to Taxi Simulator, folks. Uh, the second half of the stream. Taxi Simulator. Then we're going to have the repl replay soon. Oh, no. I wanted a gate. You see, it's giving me a stand here now. And didn't I ask for a gate? I asked for a gate. But no. And there isn't even a marshaller there, I bet you. Is there a marshaller there? No. So I would have just gone to a gate there now. So we've got to get the, ca the steps. You know. Uh, like a commoner. So no, 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 I want to go to gate. So I'm going to taxi forward. <sighs> okay, we'll come off here. Uh, it's a commoner flight. It's for commoners. That's what we look at the gate. Uh, maybe there's unruly passengers on board, let's just say. There's some guy sitting down. How's he doing? Uh, we just taxi here. I would prefer the gate. You know, maybe I did something wrong in the flight. Maybe I busted the speed limit, so they're going to come and give out to me. You know, park break on. Let's get the steps. Let's get the steps for shits and giggles. Uh, Phoenix. We uh, want the left side doors open. Ground services, please. I want the ground power unit. I want the chocks and cones. Uh, forward stairs, but left or right? Doors left, <coughs> left, and <coughs> forward stairs. 
So doors are up on the left, forward stairs. Uh, I want aft stairs as well. And let's have a look what it's given us, folks. Uh, forward cargo, aft cargo, bulk. Oh, I've never used these before. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. Uh, and for shits and giggles, let's, let's get more attention. Let's request uh, stuff and things. Let's see it. Baggage service and catering service. Come on. Give me all the trucks. Give me all the trucks and things. Let's get rid of that menu now. Let's see what we get, folks. Are the stairs uh, there? No, we got no stairs yet, but the doors are open. Right, where are the stairs, though? That's what I'd like to know. Let's see if we can get the stairs. Uh, so the doors are open on the wrong side, I think. Not the cargo doors. Let's see if those open. PCA? Oh, the air conditioning unit. The air conditioning unit, that is. Uh, stairs, stairs, right? Half stairs. Forward stairs. I requested them. But they ain't appearing, folks. Oh, there was a marshal there. He appeared after. <laughs> he appeared after a while. Okay, folks, let's close all the doors. I shouldn't have done that. I was just curious to see if the stairs had arrived. They don't. For whatever reason, uh, they won't. And of course, they're loading cargo. Wow. Uh, so let's just get that because what I, what's going to happen then is uh, you're going to see all that stuff uh, attached to the airplane, like the chocks and cones and stuff, the GPU, all that stuff. Let's get all that stuff off and do the replay. Okay, replay time, folks, uh, for that landing. Let's have a look outside and let's uh, have a look at the recording. Uh, stop recording. We'll replay. Was replay because I did start it way, way out. Here we go. Resume replay. It'll take a bit to load in all the all the scenery there because it was quite far out. But inside it's going to go nuts because it doesn't actually record um, everything very well. Uh, flight recorder. So you see here, uh, I had to kind of manually take over here. So. Once you intercept the ILS for an automated approach, right, once you're on the ILS, and if the runway's Cat 3 runway, you have two of them armed, the two approaches. That's all for an automated approach. Um, you know. Oh, thank you, Clappy D, for telling everyone. Uh, Gripper is using Subtle Taxi Room. Clappy D, thank you so much. I appreciate that big time. Uh, Tommy K. Uh, Armiski, uh, guys, do you have uh, an idea how you can learn good English? I want to be a pilot. That's a tricky one. Uh, good countries to learn English. Uh, England, not so much, I think. Or maybe yes, I don't know. Ireland is very good because, well, it's not cheap anymore. Uh, who wants to learn English? Scotland, England, Ireland, America, Canada. But if you can find someone, an English teacher at home, you're better off. Uh, <clears throat> you know? So it's a tough one, uh, Tonic. Uh, that's on YouTube. Uh, let's have a look at Twitch here and see if I missed anyone. Uh, first time chat from the Turtle uh, Witch. Uh, Going to be a good landing. Thank you, Turtle. And thank you very much for following. Uh, and an hour ago, uh, Maxi H79 followed. And an hour ago, uh, Charma. Charmaine follows. Thank you very much for following. And we got a subscriber there at the end of yesterday, Scotland, uh, Scotland Ryanair Max. Thank you very much. And we got a member as well on YouTube, which is great. That helps things. You know, this we, uh, we're able to buy these scenery and stuff. A uh, little bit of detail. So I can even have the cities there. So I think this view is the best. We do a few views, okay? One or two. So let's see. Maybe this one here for the first one, okay? And you'll see then if that's any good. I think it was a good landing. I was happy with it, I have to be honest. Uh, if, as long as there's no crosswind, because flights didn't have to fix the crosswinds, it, it's not working as, as it should. So I wanted to, I came in low on the ILS, because I don't think, see, there's the touch markers. See the big ones? They're the touchdown markers. And it would have me way above those, you know. 
There we go. And nose wheel. Was I on the center line? Oh, yeah. Right on the center line there. It won't show the reverse or anything, but that wasn't so bad, was it? Let's have a look and see what that looks like from the standing point of view, shall we? Uh, where is the... Where are you, where are you, where are you? Ba, 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 ba. Let's pause the replay and just rewind a bit. About just, I'm looking for the touchdown point here. Oh. Right there, okay. So, what I'm doing here with the camera is I'm putting it... So, yeah. I believe... Right, I was looking at this only yesterday, and we did have a headwind there, look. Only very slight, but it was good. There's the touchdown markers there. So I'm only presuming that the poppies are... A that's your aiming point here. Where are you... Is that the aiming point where you aim for, and then you flare after that? I don't know. But uh, there's the poppies here. So, you know, you want to drive it in here. So I just feel that Flight Sim takes me in too... Uh, too high all the time, you know, because if I made the pappy so I'd be coming down here like this, you know And then we're going to be flaring here and landing way late down the runway. That's just my impressions of it But anyway, let's get that standing point here. So as if we're standing here uh, I'll put it a little bit for oh, I'll put it here. There we go uh, What I'm gonna do with the camera Is I am going to disable follow me mode and insert drone lock mode it doesn't work very well if I zoom in so but I'll zoom in a little bit just a tiny bit there we go that's all I can do and now if I go back in the replay there we go and resume replay looks fairly neat that was pretty cool. I love the smoke it when the tires go down. Not bad. Not bad, folks, was it? You know? I was happy with that. Oh my god. Deuce. <laughs> there we go, folks. Uh, so that's uh, Friday stream, folks. Uh, we'll be back on with Colonel Pink on Sunday at 2100 hours. That's 9 o'clock in the evening Irish time. Uh, we'll be back on Sunday, and then, of course, as usual, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 5 o'clock in the evening. Thank you very much. Clappy D, thank you very much for your little help. I really appreciate it. DAL115, uh, thank you so much. Oh, you're learning so much. Oh, that's great. That's what I want. Uh, I, that's what I want because I'm learning as well. Uh, and I'm, I'm thinking with time, I learn more. Uh, and because like uh, Ice, uh, Iceman and a few others kind of help me along. Icebird. Sorry, Icebird, forgive me. Iceberg is really helping out, right? He knows what he's doing. And some people that come on, they know what they're doing. Uh, and that, that's where I'm learning. And then hopefully I'll get to know more and more and then I can pass it on to you. And then I'll start making videos for tutorials again. You know, the eye candy videos. Uh, I think it's important to know what your, your subject is in great severe detail for YouTube. Uh, so thanks very much. I'm delighted you like that. Uh, who else there? Scotland Laundry Man. Uh, oh, your Scotland Laundry Man was with us anyway. Sorry, I missed your... Because I must have got busy there, Scotland Laundry, Laundry Man. Sorry, Scotland Ryanair Max 98. Um, uh, I just caught you there. Good evening to you as well. Uh, Jalpan, uh, 2107 Raptor X. Oh, it's Raptor X, hello. He says, you're getting pretty comfy in the uh, air bushing thing. It felt like a real accomplishment when I could fly the PMG 7th. 37 myself it's still a big machine to master albeit a virtual one yeah it is it's interesting though it's a weird kind of joy you know you're just gone you're not in the real world anymore when you're doing this stuff uh, so thank you very much uh, Raptor X uh, have I missed anyone new chats there uh, you know Microsoft need a print okay uh, cycling diabetics back with us as well he, was, uh, he, he may be running FS Realistic. I am running FS Realistic. That is the first add-on uh, I go for. Uh, FS Realistic. Uh, I would love to be able to sell this to you. Do you know? If I could. <laughs> but that's not how it works. I don't do I'd paid for this. Uh, it would be great, you know, if you had a link. Um, uh, not really much. But uh, <laughs> it's very popular. That's the first thing you get, is FS Realistic. And there's a new version coming out. Uh, and they're going to do the head shake properly and everything. I was emailing them last week asking about the head shake and stuff. So it's it's continuing to to improve. 
Uh, so FS realistic is the first thing, always for me at least, and most people say the same. That's the first add-on they, the paid add-on they get from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, so that's great as well. So that's what I'm using. Um, you need more of your active to stick with Twitch here. Uh, thanks for all the stream. Thank you, Iceberg, for your help. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow as well. Great. Or Tuesday. Sorry, and sun, uh, Sunday. Sunday. Tomorrow, Saturday. I'm going to sleep in on Saturday. So, folks, uh, there's quite a lot of comments there on YouTube. Thanks very much. Hit the like button. Uh, we'll see you during the week again, folks. And until then, I will say uh, adieu, farewell, and uh, have, have a great weekend. Of course, happy Friday.